anders op 10. Oké. Okay. Ja, oké. Okay. Ja. <laughs> Lekker vlot wassen. Ja, 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 ja. Hi. We are Chow Lucifer. This is Stingray Songbook. I'm generally uh, not really inspired. <laughs> <laughs> you told me you had a, an idea for the lyrics, mm -hmm. but the thing is, I'm asexual. So you kind of came to me like, hey, I have this idea for a track <laughs> about Tantra. Would you mind or <laughs> can, we <laughs> can we do this? And uh, uh, I said, of course. So, But he kind of, I just... I just helped a little bit with the words, not necessarily with the contents, I guess, in this case. Or with the inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't really, I couldn't really uh, talk out of, uh, out of uh, experience. And in, in a broader sense, the song is about getting in touch with intimacy in like an open and relaxed way, you know, without the usual pressure of having to perform or anything, or, but just being able to talk about it. A good start will take us halfway there A twitch in my eye can hear my heart beat I think this song reflects sort of the search for what you're trying to find if you do Tantra, which is like a more holistic approach to intimacy. And actually, you can sometimes hear some frustration in the song for when that doesn't work, when you're like searching, but you cannot find that um, ease. Ciao Lucifer stands for saying ciao to your demons, to your the negativity in your life. Uh, heartbreak, for example. It's basically sort of the basis of, of the band, of how we started has to do with dealing with, with negative emotions or dealing with uh, struggle. We say ciao to Lucifer, quite literally. Breathe, baby, breathe. I think in the last month we haven't seen each other for approximately two days. Well, one and a half, I guess. One and a half. And we don't call, we, we don't, that's, that's excluding phone calls, of course. We definitely have a bromance going on. It's like friendship and then that translated, translates into music. Friendship and then a little more. I had some quotes floating around. I don't know exactly which came first, but I think in the end, the uh, like the the breathing part that that's about like breathe, baby, breathe in while I out. Um, that was the first thing that was really set within the lyrics, and I think that that breathing in uh, in while I out is like I thought it was a super beautiful um, uh, way of expressing like becoming one sort of like have one circular breathing situation going on so it doesn't really have to be perfect from the start but if you have like a good intention that's like half the work the intention to even talk about it at all is a is an important first step uh, asexuality is a not really a big uh, subject in the in the world in society after some some consideration I decided to be really open about it in everything I do, in all the things I do publicly, because I think the word should be out there, so people should hear that it exists, and that there's, uh, you know, normal people like you and me can be asexual, and that's why I decided to be really open about it. Better than the book. Does it even matter if we get there? Well, I, I, I usually just joke around a lot and it comes from listening to a lot of African music and, and some albums that I listen to and sometimes they just play a rhythm that doesn't really have a tonal uh, correlation to the song. Like they just go woo 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 woo. And I do that a lot just for fun in sound checks or whatever. But then when we had this beat, I was feeling like, oh, I want to just do something percussive but not necessarily tonal. So I was going like, can, can you hold this mic for a second? So I was just going like... <laughs> if I talk, you know. 
Uh, can you please? Uh, yeah. So, uh, I just wanted. I just heard this beat, and I thought I just want to go. And it doesn't really have anything tonal to do with the song, but it's just fun. Breathe, baby, breathe. Let's let me answer this in stereo. So the thing about Tantra, as I've understood, is that you're not working towards a climax necessarily, you know. But uh, for us, there's an emotional climax because it's about being open and stop the, you know, being ashamed about what you feel or what you want in your sex life. And that's that. That has a climactic feel to, for us. A good start will take us halfway there. A twitch in my eye can hear my heart beat. A fair part is to try to be aware. You don't have to talk right on the downbeat. Breathe, baby, breathe, baby. A cool touch, my earring. On my cheek, let's put in the work to get it working. I won't judge if you don't know how to speak. Let us embrace and start learning. Breathe, baby, breathe, baby. In, why out? Now, why in? In, why out? Now, And this is just the start My bloodline's up 0.5% in every chart And soon I'll figure out just what I want to be Soon I'll figure out just what I want you to see Chance! Who knew a guy who knew a guy who knew a guy Who 
Owns 0.5% of everything you buy You knew a guy who knew a guy who owned a guy Who knows what I alone would own without that guy Chance!